Mexico. I think we wrapped New Mexico last week, but we had a we had a good weekend. We did have a good weekend. Solid. Solid. Solid weekend of shooting. Yeah. Little celebration, some news action. Behind um, the scenes. Behind the scenes. Big news. Some good stuff, but Hello and welcome back. We're back on the rail today. It's Tuesday. Coming at you live every week with new episodes on Wednesday. Explicitly not live. <laughs> Explicitly not live. The number one EDM podcast on the line. It is November 19th. My name is Victor, a.k.a. Victor the Fourth. I'm Vince, at Vince Center on IG. Hell yeah. Plug. Always plug. Always IG. plug. Uh, yeah, but we got some uh, news that will come out soon. Later. Later, later. Later. But, um, Jonah Hill, Wolf of Wall Street. Later. If you don't follow us on IG, follow at Front Rail. We post the best EDM memes. I'm cooking up memes all day. In the game. In the game. No no Not one posts better memes than us. No, I just don't. And also... We're yoinking. We're cooking. We're creating. Some deep fried. It's true. All types. All types. But Great meme wars of 2020. Also, you were posting some videos... Of uh, the live concert that I was shooting on, uh, what was it called? Thursday. Thursday. It was Thursday night. We went to Concord. We saw Tokyo. Machine. Machine. We saw Riot, and we saw... Gammer. Gammer. Um, full. Well, we did a review on the IG Live. I thought that was pretty good. We can go ahead and walk through the concert. What would you think overall? Um, I know you were working, but... I mean... Tokyo Machine, my boy, killed it. Adds yeah, seriously. Like for a Thursday night, and uh, how many people would you say showed up at the venue? Thursday night? 100? Uh, I would say more. I'd say like 150. Yeah, But I mean 100, 150, 100, yeah. six eggs, half, gar- <laughs> half yeah. dozen. <laughs> Two dozen eggs and six hands. <laughs> Two dozen eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but no, Tokyo Machine absolutely killed it. And I was like shocked and so pumped because it was really fun he had so much energy he was bouncing around the great stage, stage like, presence so much fun to shoot like when a dj is just kind of like sitting back and just like hang like makes it really boring but like when djs are out there like just cooking got a little ahead of himself there he fell off fell right off the stage oh we'll put that video in right here <laughs> Yeah, quick transition from the show. We'll get back to it, but did you see that video? With the one of him falling off? The other guy falling off. Oh, yeah. The DJ who died. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't die, but he, he was. I don't think that guy was a DJ. I think he was. No, that was a DJ, dude. That was a DJ? Yes. That's why no one reacted at first because they're like, oh, this guy jumped around on stage. Oh, he went down. Dude, he landed. So we'll put the clip in right here. <laughs> This guy absolutely yeah. takes a backbreaker to the corner of a stage like I've never seen before. I mean, he trips. It's one of those things where you're falling slowly and you're like, oh, he'll catch himself. Oh, yeah. he'll catch himself. Oh, he'll catch himself. Did nope. not. Just put nope. his like third vertebrae right into the corner of the stage to break his fall, and he did not get up. And there was a fat fucking security <laughs> guard. I have Useless. Like, a vendetta towards most security guards. <laughs> Let's just say all of them for the sake, but like especially like why. what the actual fuck was this lady <laughs> thinking? She sees this man fall, and she just sits there and fucking looks around like – is someone going to help this guy? Like, Yo. are you fucking serious? What the fuck is it? This is my problem? Yo, the best part of it was a fan who was on the rail, TM, jumped over the rail, the front rail, and started picking him oh, up. Yeah. So not only, I don't know what the security guard was guarding, but she certainly wasn't guarding the <laughs> artist from himself, nor was she preventing fans <laughs> from entering the zone. So she was protecting north, north, south <laughs> of the state. She was doing... Absolutely Ooh, fucking complete nothing. waste of space. And you know what was human. funny? Low key, like a fan jumps over the rail, as you saw, and picks him up. 
at the end, what I would assume is like his manager or something <laughs> just walks up like arms folded in a like finance wannabe vest. It's like fuck, not again. Like that's that was the posture. He didn't walk. <laughs> like it's it was before. more of a mosey of like shit, yeah. not again. Oh my but, god, uh, crazy. Ghostface, I'm not going. <laughs> Ghostface, Ghostface killer. Ghostface killer. EDM, no. Uh, <laughs> Tokyo Machine also <laughs> fell on, also fell on his face in the middle of the show, but he bounced back quick. Yeah. He's light. <laughs> he bounced he, back. He bounced like he <laughs> fell, and there was another videographer that was on stage. I was like below, with my phone actually out, like because the guy needed light, and I was like putting light on him with the video. Show camera. me the light. And he pulled him back up. I, I pushed him up with my hand. It was like split second he was back up. So it didn't look like anything. Yeah, but I he, barely noticed. He hurt it. He hurt so hard. <laughs> he hurt it. That's awesome. Kind of. <laughs> that's she kind said, of that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's kind the of next awesome. morning. I we love people sp- getting hurt <laughs> falling down. It's my favorite video of all time. Anytime <laughs> anyone falls <laughs> down, I absolutely love it. The next morning we were supposed <laughs> to go out and take pictures and take some videos out in front of the bean, but – he, he was hurting so much that he texted <laughs> no me. It was like, dude, I cannot do this. Salute the real warriors, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Battle tested. Talk about real warriors. I mean, oh, Riot was trash. Just finish up the concert real quick. Yeah. Riot was so bad, dude. They were having go to meeting conference calls in between songs. It was absolutely yeah. insane. It was crazy. I was inside for most of it, so I didn't oh. get to see a lot of well, it. Well, let me fill you in. Okay? Yeah. This was their strategy. Play 30 seconds of a song that isn't theirs. Talk about it. Let the beat <laughs> run. Let an intro run. Talk yeah. about it. Talk about it. Look at each other. Be like, hey, we're from Israel. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. And then they're just looking at each other some more. And they're like, all right, now let's play some Skrillex drops. And let's play some Getter drops. Let's yeah. play some Grizz drops. Like, dude, I, I don't know if they have original music, but it didn't sound like it. Yeah. And if what they called original music was quiet intros while they were, like, pointing back and forth and, like, not doing anything on the... On the boards was kind of weird, so I didn't. I thought they were really bad. It kind of killed my mojo for the night. We ended up leaving a little bit early. We saw Gammer for like a f- twenty minutes, fifteen minutes maybe, but I was pretty much cooked by then. Got work in the morning, you know. Shout out Raluca, but couldn't for sure. couldn't stay the, the whole time. only songs that I like saw Riot play were drum and bass music, and I'm just not a big fan of drum and bass music. Like it's very bass. very niche. Well, Gamma started playing hard and style at like uh, 220 beeps per minute. Like he was trying to bring down the whole building with an earthquake. I mean, that's insane. his style of music. I know, though, but like, bro, what you, are you gotta expecting? do something to switch the pace up. Some, something. Mean, if that's Did your you style, see some of the people, people in the love crowd? That. Oh my god, but they people, didn't have the cardio. People dude. were going <laughs> crazy. Yo, what about that dudes? one guy you take a took a video Yo. of? That's what I'm saying. Something's just Dude. like, bro, I know you're jumping up and down right now, but <laughs> yo, this is not Barry's boot camp, bud. You need to relax for a minute and put the fucking Dude, phone are down. You, are you kidding me, though? Those guys, those kids aren't going to yeah, actual we'll, cardio we'll workouts, clip in. though. Yo, that is their cardio. He was, yo, we'll put the clip in. That guy, my man in the orange, call him Orange Crush. My man was killing it. He spun, and you didn't get to see the spin in the video. I wish I could have gotten a spin. <laughs> he was spinning so fast. I thought he was trying to, re- like... Turn back Turn time by reversing <laughs> the earth spin. Like, this kid was going so fast. He was like Jimmy Neutron <laughs> brain blast, dude. And his two friends were, like, not drunk, but they were just nerds, and they couldn't control their bodies when they were dancing. <laughs> they were just limbs on dude, linguini, dude, just that going that is everywhere. the funniest thing to Like, watch. the fleshiest, biggest Beyblade you've ever seen spun before, <laughs> dude. They were just... <laughs> going absolutely he sweat on me for a second oh. it was kind of gross but whatever so yeah the video i mean he's just absolutely just boom 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 like one of those guys like guys yeah. i'm at a concert look and just taking like 90 120 <laughs> second instagram videos without a caption not focused on an iphone 8 like dude i'm getting four <laughs> pixels and half a sound bite right now you could put the phone down and just dance dude it was so bad but you know what those are our guys those are the people that are on the rail headbanging at a 50 person thursday night concord concert 100%. um 
So yeah, those, those are people. Those man. are our people. I love fucking talking shit, but that's because they're my family and I love them. But I'm right there with them, dude. I was doing a shitty robot with some really cool dude <laughs> in the Letterman jacket, whatever it happens. But uh, dead ass sober too. Just had like a <laughs> seltzer water. Just mm, mm, mm. But it was good. I I wanted to talk about. I know we talked about yeah. this concert for a little bit, but. Tokyo Machine was awesome, and maybe it's because I basically lived inside of a Nintendo yeah. GameCube. Like, I basically lived inside a GameCube from till well, I was 14. Well, I just want to also make the distinction between, like, his music. Like, if you look him up, I think his music is very different than, like, his style of DJing. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know what I mean? But, but I, I hear like what he, were you going to say about he, his style I mean, of he music? just... A lot of video game drums. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Which, all. That's exactly what it is. As the number one Animal Crossing fan on the planet comes out April 2nd, 2020, <laughs> and someone who just bought Pokemon Sword and Shield on Nintendo Light Switch. <laughs> I love that shit, bro. It's nostalgia porn. That's so fucking awesome that he's just, like, dropping Super <laughs> Mario Bros. Yeah. And tra- like, yeah, if you want to combine something that I love, people are doing this, like, 29, 2009, 2019 challenge because 10 years passed, even though... 10 year ten, there's always a 10 year period before the period you're in like that's me like if you want to do vince 2009 we're talking animal crossing okay we're talking <laughs> super smash bros we're talking mario kart we're talking mario party we're talking all those cla- luigi's mansion okay well, that's what we're yeah. paper <laughs> mario paper mario too those are my games 10 years later house had edm vlogger co-host Combine that shit, you get Tokyo Machine. That's my man. Also, dude, he had really good branding too. And I know I oh so good. I shit his his light, his visuals. Yeah, and just like the logo, the name, the visuals, everything Everything was really, really good. Way better than anyone else that night, I thought. Yeah. And I know I shit on spinning records and what was it, cat? Monster cat. Monster cat because, (laughs) because it's so easy. But. It was impressive. I was impressed. Yeah. It was really good. Like, you could tell that people... I think it's always funny with artists. You can tell how good their backers, managers, producers, labels think they're going to be by right. how well-developed they are. Like, as an example, Dua Lipa owns my heart, one. Two, I just saw... You could tell, like, before her album started last year, before her singles mm-hmm. came out, the amount of money they were putting into her IG, her, like, where events she was going to, what she was hosting, her whole look music videos, everything, like, yo, they're putting a lot of money on this girl. She's going to be huge. And then, obviously, she wins Grammy New Artist of the Year. But Ballin'. same type of thing is you could tell that someone, people are like, this this Tokyo Machine guy mm-hmm. may, be go- may, may have a little juice to him, may have a little something yeah. going. 100%. I mean, like, that's, that's what it's all about. I think there's a little something there. You build on it. And, yeah. like, I think there definitely could be, like, he he's so into it and when you get a guy who's like so into it like so into the branding so into like mm-hmm. the performance on stage like you just you got you got to get that hit song i know it's coming dude it's i f- mm, i feel but like it, dude i feel it. i it, the only problem that i see is it's so niche i know he needs like that a it's like you got break out like he needs to be i don't know i don't know though because it's a like a breakout hit I mean, that's such a stupid thing to say, as I yeah. said that out loud, like, oh, an artist needs a breakout <laughs> hit. But I feel like they're, with the way video games have moved into the mainstream, that there is an avenue for him to have a breakout hit through a mm-hmm. vertical, like the Pokemon World Championships, which I watch You think year. so? Yeah, I watch Maybe. those every year. He should do, like, an official Pokio, Pokio, Pokemon remix of EDM for, like, the league play or whatever, something like that. There's an avenue. There's yeah. a way. I wouldn't be surprised. Mark this down. I know my shit. King of Curation. Next. The Martin Garrick Show. So Martin Garrick Show came back out three weeks ago. It is on their fourth season, and they just released their third episode today. Fourth season, third episode. And it's about, like, his journey on where he was coming from. um, Or not where he was coming from, but, like, when he broke his ankle right before the summer. And, um how he had to like cancel his, his whole summer tour and it's really interesting um because it takes you through his journey of him being in the hospital and him creating like the song and it was just a really it's a really cool um series and i would definitely recommend watching it yeah i think we it's also a cool <laughs> we also gave martin garrick's last shit over the summer when he like choked on a bee 
Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> we definitely gave him shit. But I kind of wanted to, like, not take that back. Double down. But double down. <laughs> <laughs> he is a fuck. Eat a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he is so hardworking, and you see, like, how energetic he is and how much he cares about his fans in this docuseries. What, you disagree? No, I just don't get how he broke his leg or his ankle. I keep forgetting. His ankle. Again, this is like... But, like, he... he No, no, no. You got to watch it. It's r- really impressive. He breaks his ankle. His security and people take him back to his green room. And they're like, dude, you need to go to the hospital. His bone's, like, s- almost sticking out of his ankle. And he's like, nah, fuck you. Bring me back to the stage. I'll play the rest of the show on one foot. And then he plays, like... In the name of love, and another one of his hit songs, finishes out the show, goes to the hospital, and th- he's like, he's getting his foot checked out, whatever, gets an MRI, comes back, all the ligaments are torn. He's asking the doctor, like, "Yo, doc, like, I got a show tomorrow, like, I'm, I'm gonna go." He's like, "No, nah, like, you can't." And he's like, eh, "I'm, I think I'm gonna go. Like, it's in Chicago. I don't want to cancel on my fans." And doc's like, "No, nah, like." If you go, like, you're putting yourself in serious risk and why, then cancel. I don't get it. Why what? Like, why can't he go to the show in Chicago? Because the plane. he needed to get surgery, and it is the inflammation on his foot. Gotcha. Because if it... Gotcha. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll watch it. I will say, as a compliment to Martin Garrix after making fun of him, the music video for Home, yeah, pretty, pretty good. I think uh, I am obviously a huge music video fan, and any time I can shout out a music video, I will. It made me like the song. It's one of those things where I was on the fence about the music, and then I watched the music video. I enjoyed it a lot, and I made me view the music in a different light, and now I kind of like the song. Fuck yeah. So, long music videos, once again. We love that. Yeah. Next up, we got Rob Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski. Gronk. Uh, He's hosting (laughs) a Miami Rager. Yeah, so what it, what it's called Rob Gronkowski's Super Bowl. Yeah, with Diplo yeah, 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 yeah. and who Cascade, else? Cascade and uh, Dombrowski. <laughs> There's a lot of guys. It's, it's good. Yeah. It's actually a pretty good lineup. I was waiting. So I, I guess I didn't realize how big of an event the Super Bowl is. Allow me to amend. I know how big the Super Bowl is. But like I didn't really. The Super yeah, Bowl. yeah, I did yeah, not yeah, realize. I think that's yeah. a newer thing that is really starting. No, no, no. Like, it's people not. are trying to make the Super Bowl huge, huge, huge. The events around it. Like, Bro, I'm talking I about. I went four years ago and, like, Snoop Dogg was playing. Big flex. I, I didn't, like, go to the Super Bowl, but I was in Arizona. How many Super Bowls have you been to? That was the only. I, zero. I've okay. never been to a Super Bowl. Right. And I'm I surprised. lived in Tucson, Arizona. And it was in Phoenix. Gotcha. So. I just like well. There's always been concerts and stuff, but I think this is a start of like, let's pregame the, the Super Bowl well, with a like music it festival. It's just, I mean, it's the same thing with what they did to uh, the Indy 500, the Snake Pit. Snake yeah, Pit. Yeah, exactly, like exactly. But bigger because it's the Super Bowl. Viewer, right, yeah, no, I think it's gonna be successful. Like, it's not 100%. obviously like Gronk isn't out there booking people yeah. and planning. Like, he's just the mascot, which is fine. Like, shout yeah. out Gronk Barstool Blackout Tour. He was the mascot. Shout <laughs> out Bowser. But, no, I think it's a good idea. I would not go. I would love, absolutely love to see the crowd at the Super Bowl pregame rave. What do those guys look like? Yeah, I don't know. You, a lot of you, khakis, a lot of chaps. You think so? I mean, who goes to the Super Bowl? But I think it's it's more going to be, where is it this year? I don't even know. It's Miami. Miami. So that's different. It's going to be people yeah, that know. are from Miami. I mean, you yeah. know? you well, know what I mean? It's like the local. What world. happened when it's in like Minnesota like it was two years ago? Who's going to that party? No yeah. one. But no, it's in Miami, so I, it'll be insane. Obviously, Mr. Worldwide will be there. Also, shout out Pitbull for the remix of Rains Down in Africa on the Aquaman soundtrack. Awesome remix. Okay. But no, it's interesting. I Have you know? there's a lot of people trying to have their own concerts, and I wonder... People like Diplo, like throwing his own concert in Cascade. I Diplo think. Diplo has always do. been throwing his own concert I know. from Mad Decent, though. I know, like but his but Mad Decent Block Party, like that's not well, would why you agree? Diplo's massive, but like. But would you agree though that there are more artists trying to get involved in the back end of the business? I totally agree, but Diplo 
like well, no, started but, that shit. But he Diplo just, was like the first. I know, but his newest one, the one in New York, that's gonna be the end of this year. Maybe it already passed. You know what I'm talking about, right? The music no. festival he's throwing in New York. I don't think so. So that's like the first one that's just like Diplo's music festival. You know, mm-hmm. I know he's had Mad Decent, Major Lazer's done ones before. Like they've thrown parties before, but I yeah. think it's interesting that. Artists are starting to get into the back end, and I think like it's Porter Robinson, I think, would be yes, a better example. Exactly, exactly. Like, but I also think Diplo is maybe the smartest person in electronic probably music. Probably, that's probably true. From a business sense, the way he attacks different markets through different mm-hmm. songs, always doing free promo or getting promo ads, whatever. Yeah. But smart stuff. I don't know. I I wouldn't go to this if I was in <laughs> Miami. <laughs> No fucking way. <laughs> Squid Fire City. Fest 2.0. A lot of nah, like I think skinny it's jeans and Chelsea <laughs> boots and like scoop tees. I don't think that's going to be it at all. A lot of scoop tee guys. Only time will tell. All Ooh, right, I'm here we scoop go. Scoop tees. Let's hit the beats of the week. It's a t-shirt, but it's lower. Idiot. We're doing it on Chelsea boots and the skinny jeans. The yeah. Yui Mega Boom. Rider Ride. Sunset. Rider Ride. Russo. Justin Caruso. Caruso. Broken Hearts. Tell me about it. Yeah, it came up on the timeline today. Justin Caruso has been killing it lately. Um, That's all I know about this song. That's a, what kind of vibe is it? Tell me. It's like chill vibes. Chill vibes. Sirius XM 53. The chill. Very different than what I normally put on the show yo this is like notes. white girl music that i love totally side note we fucking killing it on these picks i know i like, know yo i know if you're not picking I know. up our picks every time we're laying them down you're fucking up oh yeah no, we kill these picks. We're the kings of curation. I already said it. The kings of curation. For example, the Sean Cahill and Mursa song. Musa, baby. Musa. Absolutely killing it. Popping off. Right. Popping. Popping. I've been seeing it reposted on so many times on my SoundCloud timeline. Keep your head up. You heard it here first. Cuz. That was Justin Crusoe, Broken Hearts. Good song. You could probably listen to it when I get sad about girls that I've before. Um, all right. Vincent and the Griswold, Lost and in Love. Shout out all everyone named Vincent. Did you get into a fight with a girl this week or what? <laughs> kind <laughs> of. <laughs> all, all my songs went a little soft. I'm feeling a little emotional. <laughs> It's the snow. We want to cuddle. It actually, all the snow is melted here in Chicago. Heartbreak on hinge, bro. Drives you to the heartstrings, <laughs> dude. Someone just chat me off already. It's like Tinder, but meaner because it's more personal. Oh, I like this shit, son. This is a good pick, right? Very good. Pick. Sounds like my picks, bro. This song I, know. I was picking. Out. I know. When I was picking out, I was like, these are uh, very Vincent picks. All right, I almost autographed. I almost picked this song. Yeah, this is a good one. Very close. Autographed by Jared Lee. Autograph featuring Jared Lee ain't deep enough. These, these two guys. It took a little break from music for like a year. Didn't put out anything. Shout out audience. Came back. Strong. Really strong. Is Alesso alive? Just a sidebar. Is Alesso alive? Yeah. <laughs> His I hair? Mean, you know. No, I know he's got fire. I was listening to old Alesso today. I kind of was like, damn, I miss Alesso. Cloud. Error, next song. This sounds. No. Oh, this is. Me. This sounds like Victor. This is. This is more me. I'm scared. Uh, this is, yeah, this is a trance song. Which I literally don't like trance. Not, it's not that I don't like it, I'm not exposed to it enough. Yeah. This song, though. I thought it was a banger. 
Do you like it? I do. Some girl on Hinge tried to like drag me in the mud in like a battle over techno over house. It's like, you better wake up a lot earlier in the morning to fucking tell me techno is better than house music, sister. Good luck. Tech house. All right. Time for the good music. <laughs> this is my first pick. One Night featuring Raphilia by MK. A fan favorite. I love MK. Yeah. MK doesn't get enough respect. They have all the summer bangers, all the summer pop hits, and they don't really get enough respect in the <laughs> August through March part of the year. But so good. Dude. So good. Oh. Cool art. Cool art. Decent artwork. All of these songs really have like the same happy, good vibes. I feel like most of these songs are actually like summer songs. They instead are of, like summer fall songs. songs. Except the tech house song. These are the, these are the kind of songs that we need right now. I know. Like it's getting cold. <laughs> the pick me boost, up, boost the morale. Yo, we should go to South Beach next month early. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, next song. We got Wait For You by Shipwreck. Uh, you're a big Shipwreck hater, I know. If you remember Energy. What, what, the energy, yeah, 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 yeah. Victor hates that song. Not a good song. <laughs> Can you feel the energy? <laughs> that song, right? Yeah. <laughs> energy is so good. Fuck you. It's a good song. <laughs> Yes. You can find all of these songs on Front Rail, SoundCloud. We keep them in playlists every week, so you can go back and check the week's past playlist. I'll have it in the YouTube comments, so you can easily go look it up. But uh, Yeah, like a gambler that has his betting record, we like to be on record, too. We like to be accountable to our fans, so go back. Go look at the songs. Look at the picks. You'll see them. They're at number one top 20 charts right now because we find the songs. Uh, Back in June. Back yeah, in June. Seriously. Sorry by who? Joel Corey. Joel Corey. Ride it. Another Absolute one. Banger. Banger. We knew. Did we get to a second drop on this? Oops. Happy accident. Uh, okay. And I want everyone to focus in on here because this next pick, this next pick is very important. I will not rest. I will not rest until the Lost Kings EP gets way more love than it is right now. They dropped a six-song EP called Lost Angeles. First of all, fuck LA. So yeah. sorry, sorry, Lost Kings, but fuck LA. No love, no respect, no play on the TL, no hype, no top 20 playlists. What the fuck is with this shit? I actually do think, and they've mentioned it on interviews they've done before KFC Radio, black that ball. they get blackballed by the industry. Oh, I actually... Yeah. That I said that because they ruffle life. they ruffle a lot of feathers, they talk a lot of shit, and they don't like bow down to a lot of people. They've hinted at, and I actually do think they're getting blackballed. Lost Kings. Yeah, I do think they're not getting radio play, and they're not getting love in the streets. I really do think that because Who this would they e be getting blackballed by in industry people, agencies, really? radio stations. It just feels All right, like well. Right. Let's put them on. Too far gone feature featuring Anna Clendening. Who was also on a Phantom song this year? It was very good, but I really do think like they don't get any respect. It feels on purpose. I doubt it's on. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. I like a lot of their music. I like all of it. But like, you think like, what would they get blackballed for? Just like attitude not working well with others being difficult to manage or whatever. I'm just well, speculating. Like, you think that would relate to radio plays? A lot of melodic, yeah. chill vibes. It's a very relaxed it's week. This week. Very relaxed. Rope season. No relaxed. dubstep. No, no dubstep. I'm wearing no slippers. That's how chill we are right now. 
I got the fleece on, the cinchilla. We're you look comfy, man. We're laid you, back. You, you look chilling. really comfy. Um, but no, I seriously, I'm gonna pump Lost Kings until the day I die, at least until the end of 2019. So, I wish they got some more respect, but we will see. Um, I don't know. Last thing. That's all I got for this week, man. That's all the songs we have for you. We're so happy you guys listened. Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, share the link, tell your friends. Any criticism, we like constructive criticism, leave it. We'll ignore it, but then we'll read it for sure. Um, do you have anything else for the guys out there today? Um, yeah, guys yeah. and gals? Leave a comment. Did yeah. you say that? I said leave a comment, but yeah. say it again. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let us know how you feel. If you Sound got this off. far, if you got this far... Hit, hit us. We we will not listen. We're not gonna pander. Okay. A lot of people will do the thing on YouTube, like, oh, sound off in the comments below. And keep in mind, these are just our opinions. No, no, no. <laughs> We're right. These songs slap. <laughs> They're fucking gas. If you disagree, you're wrong, or you're listening on shitty headphones. Put the skull candies away. Walk over <laughs> to Bang and Olfson. Spend some big boy money and get yourself a good set of cans with some bass. <laughs> Tell me these songs suck. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, fuck yeah. We are out for the night. Thanks We're so much done. for watching. I'll play us out. Uh, one last quick note. I yeah. tweeted at Anna Luno, just so you know. And she tweeted you back. She responded. She said, merci. I was like, I blushed. I giggled. I hit under my desk. <laughs> I was so afraid. But her new show on Apple Music, Dance XL Radio, is actually very good. Um, I was breathtaking. I was shocked that she responded. Uh <laughs> all right fun that's all i got guys fuck yeah we're out for the night goodbye <laughs>